Yo, what's up guys here, GTA Pups here. In today's video, we're gonna be talking about how Rockstar Games finally releases an update regarding the security related issues with GTA 5 on the PC. We're gonna be talking about what that update has to do if you are safe to play in GTA 5 Online on the PC, and what actually happened later that uh, afternoon uh, something else happened with Rockstar Games and Xbox. Again, we're going to be talking about that all in today's video, so let's get right into it. So yes, guys, yesterday on February 1st, it's actually February 2nd when I'm recording today's video, happy Groundhog's Day. Again, Puxitani said six more weeks of winter. But again, according to Rockstar Games Insider Tez Funds 2 and officially confirmed by Rockstar Games, Again, a security-related update is now live on the GTA 5 for PC. The build ID is 2824.0 with the size around 350 megabytes. And again, that was that. Again, we did officially get the patch notes from Rockstar Games. And the patch notes said this, said security. It said, implemented a new data protocol on GTA Online to improve the security of network sessions and player-to-player -player messaging. Fixed an issue that could result in players' GTA Online experience being modified by a third party, including alternating GTA Cash, Balance RP, Bad Sports status, and other player status, and implementing of players being kicked or crashed and then lastly they actually did some game stability and performance improvements as well as they always kind of do with these um, updates that they do release so again once again this update did not come out to the consoles it was only for pc players now let's actually get in on what they have done so basically according to rockstar games insider Tez Funds 2 is they actually spoofed up Rockstar IDs and they patched them for now. So now you can actually should be able to view the actual social club profile of a cheater in a session. Well, that's actually pretty nice because, again, in these sessions where these cheaters were uh, in the sessions, you know, duping your game and stuff like that, you didn't know if they were a cheater or a regular player. But it looks like you can now view that now, their social club, and that is big. And with all this happening, again, players were wondering if the players' accounts have been back up and running. And again, that's really not the case right now. Can Tez actually confirm to us if your account is brick? Wait for a background update as a new client-side update. Unfortunately, didn't address this. The background update could go live with a wave of account corrections as well. So again, it looks like they didn't really fix yet, just yet, people's accounts getting banned that actually don't need to be banned. As Tez said, this will should be coming with a background update if Rockstar decides to do this that way. And we'll do a whole lot of accounts just within a background update. And again, players like myself are probably confused why it didn't come out when they were fixing all this. But again, it's you want to give Rockstar Games, their support team and staff, a full dedication on this. Because this only got uh, acknowledged by Rockstar Games like a week and a half to go to two weeks. And Rockstar team was on it right away as they fixed it and got it done right in time for the start of February 1st to release this. Again, this could have went uh, a more of a bigger problem if Rockstar did not address it as soon as possible. So again, give Rockstar support, their team, the support as well. And again, players were wondering if, again, are they safe to play GTA 5 online on PC after this, um, you know, update has been evolving. And again, yes, this is one of the safe, uh, you know, couple days of playing G2 Online on the PC because, as I said, again, Rockstar Games updated the um, 
G2 Online experience being modified for a third party. And third parties are those uh, big mod menus that companies make. And they have to update their mod menus now because of Rockstar bringing out a title update, if you know what I mean. So again, the mod menus are having you know issues. They're probably scrambling right now to get their mod menus updated. And again, we just cannot you know, stop any of that in the game. But just know that this is probably the safest time right now to play GTA 5 online on the PC, for an example, because the mod menus are not up to date. And again, just with Rockstar doing what they have fixed, again, it does make it good for players to play on GTA 5 online. Also, someone asks, so there's no more modders leaking Rockstar's IDs and viewing them. And Tez thinks that this is pretty possible. Again, it just means when you try to view the profile of the cheater, you won't be met with invalid data. It's more beneficial for Rockstar, allows them to catch the cheaters faster, since the player clients are reporting who's in the session every minute or so. If a Rockstar staff member joins a lobby, spectating a cheater is there. Most paid mod menu users would leave instantly a spoof. RID increases the success rate of their escape attempt. I know this is all like coding info and, you know, stuff behind the scenes. But just know, again, you can view the profile of the cheater. It kind of gives the cheater some way to kind of escape and get scared uh, that players know that they are modern game. I don't know how this actually can view in game with social club but i'll be sure to you know actually dive into that a little more now with this updating coming out actually last night someone noticed that rockstar uh, support was undergoing some maintenance and it was not actually on g2 online or gta 5 it was on the social club again if you actually logged on to rockstar support um, last night, it said Rockstar Game Services supporting Social Club will undergo maintenance on February 2nd, 2023, starting at 5 o'clock UTC during this time. Commenting on user content on Social Club will be unavailable to all users. This maintenance is not expected to take long, and services will return as soon as it completed. So what happened here, folks, is I think Rockstar had to do maintenance on the Social Club because of their security-related update that they released later in the day uh, with, you know, the Social Club IDs and stuff like that, how they are linked to the game. And actually, Rockstar did this in the middle of the night of most people that live in the U.S. So again, it probably didn't affect you uh, any way, shape, or form in the game or online. So again, all Rockstar support services were are running successively now and going the green light as I'm recording today's video. And actually, lastly, something happened with Microsoft and Xbox users as well. As someone noticed yesterday, last night I should say, that the Xbox Series X S and the Xbox One were running on limited services. And actually, what was going on here is players were noticing that the multiplayer uh, you know, area of gaming with Microsoft and the Xbox and stuff like that was had a major outage that's actually now fixed and you are good to go on playing G2 Online on the Microsoft and Xbox. So I just want to let you guys know that uh, it was weird that Rockstar or Microsoft for example, was having issues with GTA 5 Online when Rockstar brought out earlier that day a security-related patch. So again, I wonder if you guys in those comments section down below, how are you doing with the new patch going on, or the update, I should say? Have you noticed any differences on the PC? Again, my name is GTA Puzzle here. If you did enjoy today's video, a like rating would be super awesome. Remember to subscribe to the GTA Puzzle channel for more videos like this. My name is Puppy, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace out.